Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to start off with the Almanac today. I'm sure a lot of you were wondering how warm was it out there. It felt really nice. A little bit of a wind, but the sun really did help things get up to the uh, upper 60s, and that's where officially where we check in. 68 degrees here in Bismarck. That is a full 15 degrees warmer than our average for this time of year. And our low was only 42 degrees, so quite mild out there. And so it's still a very pleasant evening. Now looking out towards Dickinson here, you're looking off towards the west. Sun's still pretty high in the sky. Those daylight uh, hours sure extending out there. 61 degrees currently, and that wind still is there as well. It's out of the north-northwest right now at 18 miles per hour. Now temperatures as we look across the viewing area here, you're looking at 50s up towards the north, 60s elsewhere, and the warm spots are generally along the south here where we're looking at temperatures in the mid 60s, but everybody's still enjoying some pretty mild weather and your winds. Well, they are pretty uh, consistent across the board. Everyone looking at a northwest wind from about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts have been up to 30 miles per hour at times, so it certainly has been windy out there. The winds will generally subside as we go in towards tonight. So here's the winds we're looking at uh, at about 7 o'clock this evening, so the next 30 minutes. As I roll this into late tonight, into early tomorrow morning, notice those winds will certainly start to slacken. There'll be a light breeze out of there. It'll actually change directions out of the northeast, and that's important for what's to come. Now looking at your weather alerts, well... Nothing going on in North Dakota, but uh, you see to the south here. Oh, yes, we zoom down just a little bit and look at South Dakota, Nebraska, a wide area of winter storm watches. There's going to be an incredibly powerful system moving on in. We talk about blizzards and snowstorms to, well, thunderstorms. That must mean it's springtime here in the northern plains, and we got a few of them moving on in from Canada right now. Uh, just northeast of Botno, yeah, this thunderstorm has been going on for the past hour or so, just skirting to the east of the Turtle Mountains there. Could see a few light showers up towards the Sherwood area, north of Minot, out towards Kenmare, Belcourt. Yeah, all you guys near the uh, Canadian border might get a little bit of rain and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Now back to the winter weather because we got to cover it all right now. We are looking at a very powerful jet stream just now entering the West Coast. We've talked about this last week about how the jet stream is getting very active and very amplified. And here we go as we roll in towards tomorrow night. We're going to be looking at this big dip in the jet stream. And by Wednesday, it will be creating this very powerful system. But you notice the snow stays south and east of us. I think the fact is here, our biggest uh, implication from this storm system will be those who are traveling to Minneapolis and South Dakota. Keep abreast of the forecast. And of course, if that track does change a little to the north, we will of course let you know. Dickinson, it's going to be breezy as that storm system passes towards south. We're going to see that north wind increase and cold air is going to be drawn in behind it. And you notice some cooler temperatures for Williston as well, only getting up to the mid 40s. Your lows tonight, pretty mild out there. Temperatures in the upper 20s and upper 30s to the southwest. Your highs tomorrow, looking at 40s to the east and we'll see 50s to the west there. Though those winds will start to pick up again by tomorrow night. That is in response to that system that will be to our south. You can see Minot staying quiet and dry. But here we go with Bismarck. We're going to be looking at temperatures dropping on Wednesday. That is a result of that storm system. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to get the snow from it, but the winds and the cold, we certainly will be feeling that. Oh, it's going to be a great. doozy to our south. Okay. Still Thanks. no snow? <laughs> Happy with You're that. Okay. Coming up next in sports, how a moment in second grade almost prevented star Mandan athletes Kennedy Harris 